Hi everybody, I'm Jeremy and today we got Jeff right here, Jeff Chandler, one of the most iconic person that you know from Cassie. And we got Jeff today here, very a big thank you for Jeff to being here and then I'm trying to explain and answer some of the questions from our viewers. Um, the first one, the first theme will be uh, what are the changes for CASI courses, the certification courses. And the second one will be um, under this special pandemic year, uh, what are our approach, what are our future plans, what are some highlights from CASI's approach, right? And the third one is from a very uh, is from a very supportive group. It's called Manbar. Um, they are very into carving. They are duck stands, and they want to know how wide of a board should we use. What are the advantages and disadvantages to have a wide board? And the time following up will be for Jeff. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is my backyard. This is Big White Resort, where I've ridden, been riding for uh, close to 20 years now, 20 plus years. So. When I'm on my uh, free time, this is where I'm snowboarding. So I spend a lot of time here with my family. And um, as far as changes on the Cassie program for this year and the Cassie courses, the real big focus this year was on uh, clarifying and uh, refining the riding standard for the level one and level two. And so the big change with those two courses was the addition of the uh, mandatory riding maneuvers at the level one and the level two, just as a way of clarifying what the standard is and also allowing us to be more clear with assessing the standard so for someone who's taking the level one certification so that they have a more clear idea so the three mandatory maneuvers at the level one are the intermediate sliding turn the carve traverse and then the beginner turn but done in both directions forward direction and switch direction so from the standpoint of a level one candidate who's taking a level one and becoming an, a new instructor the idea is that they have a clear idea of what's required to pass that certification. And then the same thing on the level two. We've got four mandatory, new mandatory maneuvers at the level two, which is the advanced sliding turn, more of a short radius sliding turn, a basic ollie on flat terrain, um, the novice turn done forward and switch, and then basic carving. So leaving that pencil line track in the snow on a, a flat green terrain. So that was our big focus for this year with the, the actual courses was just clarifying that standard and um, trying to give people taking the courses more information on what they can practice before they show up on the course in order to be successful. So yeah, this has been a challenging year, the, the pandemic and some of the changes and the, re the restrictions on the resorts and going into the season, we really didn't know what the courses were gonna look like. So the best we could do over last summer and over the last off season was just prepare for um, being able to offer courses on snow and doing it with the current restrictions and guidelines in place. So probably the biggest change that we made to our courses was moving most of the theory content to an online delivery, online delivery platform, which has actually turned out to be a real, a real benefit for our whole program. And it's one of those changes that will probably stick around even after the pandemic, hopefully one day when it's done, that online delivery of that theory information will stay. So I think we'll probably always have an online component that's a part of our training. So we'll have a theory component that's done ahead of time and then we'll have the on snow training that's done on the course. And it really helps us out in a lot of ways. It allows the evaluator running the course to know that the candidate on the course has a, a baseline of knowledge and training. Um, it allows us to start to offer those online modules in different languages, which is something else that we've really branched out into this year with um, a handful of courses running mostly in the Vancouver area in Mandarin. And uh, so that's something that we can do with that online delivery is start to cater to specific languages. Um, and then it allows us to be very much more direct and specific to the, uh, to the riding skills and the teaching skills when people show up on the courses. And uh, the time spent on the course is really practical, lots of practice time, lots of mileage, lots of feedback. Whereas in the past, that time was always split between the practical and the theory time where we'd have some indoor lecture time and indoor workshop time. So that stuff is taken care of ahead of time. And when you show up to take a course now, it's all on snow. And that's been something we've been, in, we've been discussing and looking towards for a number of years. And the, the pandemic happening this year really just kind of pushed us in that direction. And uh, it's turned out to be a huge positive for us. So I can see that continuing on. Uh, even if this pandemic, uh, if and when it sort of lightens and things move back towards what they used to be.